9. It's the same type of problem before, except I'm doing so I'm given a point and an equation. But to write an equation, I mean, I need to what? Write, I say it right. I need a point and a slope, right? I don't have a slope, but I'm given this equation that it's perpendicular to. So the first thing I need to do is take this and find its slope, which I'm going to do by what? Minusing 2x and then dividing by what? Negative 5, which makes this here. So what's the slope of this line? 2 fifths. However, I need the perpendicular slope, not 2 fifths, but turn it and flip it and make it what? From positive to what? So I'm going to use what? Negative 5 over what? 2. So I'm going to come back to my point slope formula, and I'm going to put that 2 in here, that negative 3. Notice it's the same point I had before in the previous problem, but now my slope is what? Negative 5 over what? 2. That's going to be the same as plus 3, negative 5 times that over 2. Uh, I got a little out of here. This is negative 5x. That's going to be minus 15 halves. This is minus 2, which is the same as what? 4 over 2 with fractions. And I'm going to add 4 to each side. That slope-intercept form of the line that's perpendicular. And once again, kind of make sure. This times that is 5. Negative 5 halves x. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. And 2 would be over 1 makes 2. I've got to add 2 to this. But I can't add 2 because I need their what? Fraction. I've got to have what? Common denominator. I'm going to make that. Is it 4 over 2 the same as 2? Yes. And to get rid of it, I'm going to add 4. That's how I end up with that number right there.